have an even skin tone. I'm, I'm dark in some spots, I'm light in some spots. So I have to go in and just darken the light spots up so it can all be the same color. Okay. I'm not done, I'm done. All right, come on, man. It's just a little blog. Yeah. This ain't man. This ain't uh, long. How are you going, man? I can do what I want to do. Not gonna have, about to have you sitting in front of camera looking any kind of way. I'm gonna walk off. You said you wanted to do it. I will Jocelyn Hernandez your ass. I'm surprised you haven't seen how we're gonna be drama. <sighs> I'm Nene. But I got comebacks like Sheree. <laughs> And I want to get paid more show than you. Hmm? <laughs> well, we on the same pay rate right now. <laughs> and I have, to be, pay I, have to, I have to be the first one that comes up and says something. You know, technically, this is Hustle Vision number three. I did two, like, years ago and never did it again. But you had me. Man, if you gonna come on, I'm man. Coming, the star of the show being ready. You ain't the star of the show. Well, I man, have... you just went and got your eyebrows. I didn't. I, didn't really, I just was doing that right there in the front, real quick. That's all I was doing. Man. Yeah, I got my eyebrows done. Mm -hmm. We probably, we probably ain't gonna do this too often. This might be your first and last time. Fine with me. I know you don't care. Like, don't make it seem like I'm insensitive. Man, if you please come on. I'm coming. I gotta get some sleep. Right, what'd that do? Keep it from getting on my teeth. For real? Uh -huh. Man, you know what? If you don't come on and put my earrings in, <laughs> and my chain. Oh God, I'm coming! I'm coming. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> Much money as I paid for the for that darn chain, I'm gonna wear it. I don't care what you say about that. I give the earrings. I'm five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you what the chain was. I'm coming. You knew just the words to get me out there. Jesus. Let me get five more earrings. Oh, Time to find my earrings. You let your little followers know the reason we broke up is because you put some damn earrings in your ear. Listen, man. Mm -hmm. Morgan Freeman wear earrings. Morgan Freeman does not wear earrings. Yes, he do. Well, do you want to be like a 60, uh, 73 year old? How old is Morgan, Morgan Freeman? Freeman Look 97. Up real quick how old Morgan Freeman is. Morgan Freeman, 103. He's old. That's who you want to compare Morgan, yourself to? Morgan Freeman, like Peter Weistraw. He was born about 52. <laughs> he came out 52. <laughs> The youngest we ever seen Morgan Freeman was on Lean On Me, and he was at least 65 then. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Look yeah. that up. That is an interesting fact to know. We always call that man old, but look up how old Morgan I ain't got my phone, and you got fingerprint security on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know my passcode. Don't make me seem like that. I've told you my passcode. No. Yes, I have. Because... I ain't, I don't need to do all that anymore. I'll leave that to you. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm good at what I do. Mm -hmm. Please, uh, come on here. Shut up. See? I almost fell. Oh, man. You got a mic up and everything, man. Oh. As loud as I talk, you need me to mic up. 
That's why you're gonna put the mic in the middle of your chest if it's in the room. This camera done been recording 15 minutes. Are you putting all that on there? No, because you're taking too long. Oh, that camera on. Um, try to hide the wires and mic yourself up. You can't do this for me? Uh, it's going to be hard to mic you like that. I like you. I don't know how to move around my clothes. How you hey. doing? But, My mama might be watching this. You'll know what we be doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mama, you know I'm a good boy. Yeah. That's where you gonna put it at? Yeah, cause you, you do talk monotone and I do clip it. My lotion isn't rubbing it in my hair. Cause my lotion wasn't rubbing it in my hair. Then people are like, well her hands are ashy. When really, is you and really see that. Vaseline lotion you buy. I should have put my jerkins on. Mm -hmm. Good, you gotta turn that off. Oh, that in there? Mm -hmm. Please don't book nothing. Hold on, you mic'd up. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I am. That's what I need to do. I gotta pee too. Oh God. Do I just carry that with me? Oh, man. Just, ah, uh, man. I won't here, here, people here, here, see here, how, here. how frustrated you get with me. Everybody thinks you're such an easy going guy. I want them to see how frustrated you get. You ain't easy going. Get mad at me because I have I've to been, pee. Come on. Now I gotta mute this. Is this on the microphone? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to mute it, though. Please hurry up. I'm hurt. This ain't no time to take selfies. I'm not taking selfies. I'm seeing how I look. Can I have my phone out, or is that... Are we at school? Let me make that? sure we clearing the camera, because you've been bullshitting. Yeah, we good over there. It's good enough. Can I have a phone out? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to prolong this any longer. Um, this is Hustle Vision number three. I did two like years ago. I decided just to stop where I left off. And before we get started, this my co-host for the day, I guess, Alicia Walker. Isn't she beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Just for today. I'm only doing this for today. I don't know. I might no, she wanted it. me to say, this is Alicia Walker, my baby, my love. My you could have put a little bit more emotion into it. My everything. You are my rib. You, you could have. You, can you are my heart, keep my going. soul, my sunshine, keep going. You ain't about my moon, change. my stars, <laughs> my aggravation, <laughs> my headache, mm -hmm. my... And another thing, just to let y'all know, this is not the same shirt I had on the picture with 50 Cent. Why would you even This is the shirt. Why would you even say that? I told you to change, but that didn't mean you had to let people know No, I'm just saying because people might. Yeah, I see how I'm rubbing off on him with all this polka dot. I love polka dots. Now he loves polka dots too. See, mm. see? That's how it goes. <sighs> For now. You do love polka dots. Tell them you love I'm polka dots. I'm going back to rocking my polo. Tell them you love polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> polka dots. That's not manly. Well, you own two shirts, so <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> I know you don't like this drink. It's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the fruity color fool you. It is Strong. It's strong. It, it's he got a... Have wine, so he man, actually had to make me drink. And this mess is strong. If I make a face while drinking it, just excuse me. No. Oh, well. Maybe things are better when you put it in a wine glass. <laughs> First time I had it, it was in a red cup. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe things get a different taste when you it get out of the It might do, and then you drink it with a straw, too, glass. you know. Maybe um, that's it. Maybe I have to mm -hmm. sip on it. It's not that bad, but that mm -mm, first taste. Mm -mm. So, so what you talking about on your show? 
Well, I was going to talk about these different topics, um, whatever hot going on in the world. So we were going to talk about Gucci Mane getting married. Yeah, that wedding. I mean, I was excited about it just because everybody made a big deal about it. I did not know. I I didn't know they spent $1.7 million mm. on it until after the show. So I wasn't really impressed with it while watching it, mainly because they didn't show any emotion. I'm like, is he going to cry when she walked down well, the aisle? Or what, what is he going to do? Like, she was gorgeous, minus that headpiece. That headpiece was tacky. But if she wouldn't <laughs> have had that headpiece on, <laughs> just that dress itself, she was gorgeous. I expected a little tear to run down his I thought he was gonna cry too. He probably right got there. a he probably got a tattoo too, so yeah, he didn't need I to mean, cry. I don't know. I expected <laughs> him to cry, and it was just like it was no emotion, and that's what I didn't like about it. Then you know, of course, you get on social network afterwards, and it's like everybody's like one point seven million, and I'm like, really? Nah. So nah. But this is mean, what it is. Happy that they're you know happy. Yeah, I think they gave them one point seven for that to do that show. to do the show because. Mm. That wasn't a one point seven million dollar mm-hmm. wedding, not to me. Mm-mm. I don't think so. But it was cool. He didn't even get on his knees to propose. Well, he also proposed to her at a Hawks game. That's so overdone. You should never <sighs> want to get proposed to it the same way Star Jones was a proposed to. She got Yes. Star For Jones, real? that guy. That didn't last either. He ended up being gay, so oh, nobody yeah. should ever want to get proposed allegedly, to at we, a game anymore. Allegedly. We don't know. I thought they did confirm he was gay. Did they confirm that? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We too early to be getting in trouble. Maybe we need to get in trouble. We'll get a million views in. Mm. <laughs> then I'll never get a job on CNN for dealing with you and this bull. Well, this <laughs> <laughs> it is bull, but it's fun bull. Yeah. That's the thing. Let me see. What else is going on in the world, man? We got Donald Trump in there. He... I don't talk about him. That's a sore <laughs> subject for me. <laughs> but what do you want to say? I don't know. He always doing something. You can always go to Donald Trump. I he disconnected myself from politics that night. Mm. I say a little something every once in a while, but hit me up next year. I'll try to get all y'all to go vote during a year that's not a uh, presidential year, maybe. Y'all will help us get a new Georgia governor, but I doubt most of y'all will vote, so. I ain't voting no more. He doesn't even vote. I should have broke up with him and he didn't vote, but. I voted for Obama. You know why? You voted for Obama because of his policies and the change <laughs> that he said he was going to vote. Oh, about. yeah, yeah, that's why. Because, yes, we can, and we did. That's why you voted for him. I voted for him because I had made so much money <laughs> selling his t shirts. <laughs> I feel like. We're not going to be cliche. We're going to say why. We, we know why we voted for Obama, but that's, we're not going to say that on camera. He turned out, you might as well, why they voted for Trump. <laughs> Did they, they vote for him because he's white? That was, oh, I forgot. That's what they always do. That Lord, I can't say the things I want to say on here. Man, please. This this is... You don't work huh? <laughs> with a bunch of... Bunch oh, yeah, yeah. Kids. I still I got to clock say, in yeah. somewhere. And they, I still have to clock in somewhere. Yeah, tomorrow, I so forgot. We still... I can't say what I want to say, so that's why I just say I don't discuss We got to keep our jobs. We can't <laughs> Colin Kaepernick this one. Yeah. We can't take no knee. Oh, speaking of Colin Kaepernick, though, um, you know, you don't even got the lawyer, same lawyer mm-hmm. that represented Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. Show them he ain't playing. But how you going to prove? He say if a child molester and a woman beater <laughs> <laughs> was able to walk away, this is the man That's, I need. <laughs> how can he prove he was discriminated against? I mean, it's obvious, but how can he prove that, though? I don't know. You got to give me time to think about that. See, if you're going to ask me questions like that, you, that should have been beforehand. I could have had a very well thought out answer to it, but he can prove it somehow. I know he can. He probably going to do some. Mark inter- Garagos can prove it. Who? Don't have to prove it. That's the lawyer's name. Oh. How, you know what? You're not even really into the entertainment industry. You always call yourself. You be knowing you, all these. You keep up with the urban world. You know nothing about anything else. You need me on here to talk about 
the Gwyneth okay. Paltrow's. Okay, and, name the whole. You the only and, black girl know the whole cast of Devil Wear Prada. Who playing Devil Wear Prada? That's my favorite movie. Who? Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway. Who else? That's the two main characters. Nobody else matters. Oh, really? Do Who's you your... know who she was supposed to be um, portrayed and who got very, very, very upset by that role? Who they thought that Meryl Streep was portraying? Do you know who that was? Uh, no. Anna Wintour. Do you know who Anna Wintour is? No. Do you know the Met Gala that you probably talk about? And what the mm. stars wore to it because probably someone like Kanye was invited through mm -hmm. Kim or Carmelo through Lala. Mm -hmm. That's a very, very big event. That's the biggest fashion event. Mm -hmm. And she is the editor of Vogue. And mm. she was upset because mm. she thought that that movie was trying to portray her. Okay. And the Andre Leon Talley guy, mm -hmm. the one that made me start looking at ASAP Rocky because I'm like, damn, he around ASAP Rocky? Yeah. Was that a, a sign to do something with my eyebrows? Are you still okay? Yeah. Okay. You know how people you like giving you a song. No, man. I'm, I'm sweating. We even got these lights on I'm in not. here. You took so long. Yeah, you was in the bathroom. Do you have to tell everybody that? I they was, heard you. And anyway, I was in the bathroom. You and put that's that why on a blooper. I'm, I'm not sweating. You should have touched up and maybe you wouldn't be sweating. I got to show how real I am. Mm, in your polka dot shirt. Hey. Keep going. What was your next thing you were going to talk about? You know, I just can't. Do this too long, about bedtime, and I'm a little hungry. <laughs> That's what we calling it, hungry. I, I'm hungry. <laughs> like I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. What you was talking about? <laughs> um, what was we talking about? Man, we should have been did this. No, we shouldn't have. You <laughs> see how long it took me to do this? Oh, man. What else going on in the world? What about this Eminem freestyle? Because you said it was whack. Y'all don't want to hear me talk about him. Um, Y'all praising him to the highest right now. Mm -hmm. Which I love Eminem. Don't get me wrong. I do. I think I said in a Facebook status. I said, you know, I love Eminem. I always have. I always will. But I've seen him spit harder than that. And it's just the fact that. He was talking about Trump while everybody's like, oh, you know, but when you really look at it, you're like, y'all, you know, Eminem has come harder than that. Like that. I wasn't impressed by the lyrics. Like, you know, although I don't like Trump, the ones we don't speak of, but <laughs> I still I'm not going to just say that was his best work and say I was impressed by it. Eminem, me and you have talked about this before, is mm -hmm. the guy that gets on everyone's track as a feature. And kills him. Everybody he's ever been on. Jay, 50 Cent, whoever. His verse kills him. And then you come with that. And everybody goes crazy. Like, I love Eminem. I, I love him. I do. Excited for his return. Really want to hear the album. Really hope it's some real hip hop. Everybody's going into that whole mumble rap thing now. I, and I'm tired of it. So, I hope he can come back, you know, like Jay did with his album. This summer and bring us some real hip hop again, cause I'm I'm tired of the little oozies, the little yadies. I'm I'm tired of niggas <laughs> with colorful plaques <laughs> mumbling everywhere. I'm tired of that. So I'm excited about the album, but I wasn't just impressed by that cycle. Yeah, that probably wasn't his best lyrics. They mm -hmm. just do like that. The topic he was talking about, but it's the topic, yeah, and that's and that's what we do. We. We get on something and we we ride on it and just ride on it because everybody else is riding on it and don't really know what you're riding for. Speaking of that, what about what Hazel said from Love and Hip Hop? I know you don't keep up. You know, I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. This is but was, she was talking like about um man. she was talking about people hating her because she light skinned and uh, oh you know how I feel about that. Talking about the gays should burn in hell oh. and all that crazy stuff. So you want to tell a dark-skinned girl that has several gay friends that somebody <laughs> said <laughs> something about light skins and gays? You think that's a good conversation? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know who Hazel is. Who is Hazel? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what they saying. Yeah. Who Half the cast of Love and Hip Hop is gay. I uh, know. So she should have known she would have done Mona boomed her the same day. Oh, so day. she got boomed, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe we can get on my show next. Yeah. 
<laughs> is they gonna boycott me? They gonna tune in? I get yeah. about the same. Maybe views. then I'll know who she is. That's probably the only way I'm gonna know who she is. Yeah. Is if she walk up in uh, um somewhere you at, I wouldn't She'll know any other way. She'll probably come come on the show one day. Yeah. You know we get all the either washed up or the up and comings. Yeah. Who I didn't mean we? that. Huh? I'm not, don't group me with washed up and up and coming. <laughs> no, no, no. I done had some good <laughs> guests, man. I done yeah. had some good guests. I mean, but back in the day, do you really? I mean, like right now, if you went after what's hot, you want to appeal to the younger generation? Because if that's the case, we need to go get Mackenzie to be sitting right here. She yeah. probably could do better than me. I would, uh, I still interview them. These ain't knocking nobody in the head. They get money doing mumble rap or whatever. Hmm. I ain't got to rob nobody sell no dope. That's good. Mm-hmm. Say no to drugs. I like 21 <laughs> Savage too. 21 Savage kind of right. I do like 21 Savage. I, yeah. I give him that. Yeah, I do. I do. He, he's the only one I, I, I about can listen to. And like I said, they always give all the mumble rappers a good beat, like a tight beat that you can just vibe to anyway. Mm. And you have to because you don't know what they're saying. You remember how our parents didn't know, like, with the screaming and everything, like, mystical, and who else was, like, high on My mama didn't like, no, no, she liked the clean rappers, like, Hammer, and, and uh, I about to say Tupac. My mama did say Tupac was cute one time. Probably did, probably did. Yeah, we still good, we been going about 15 minutes, it don't seem like it do it. No, it don't, well, it seems like an eternity. We don't but have I to can, say we back or nothing like that. I mean, I like talking. I mean, I can talk about this stuff mm-hmm. forever, but you know, I hate the way I sound on camera. I'm going to really hate to hear the playback on this. God, I'm going to hate to hear Man, the playback. Man, I sound like Droopy the Dog. Well, maybe you fine sounding like that, but I hate, God, I hate the way That's I sound That's how on people camera. know my voice. When I call, they, they I can't never be, get nobody. We are such the ugliest couple voice, the ugliest voice couple. Yeah. That's what's gonna be make us famous. Mm, I'm gonna try to put some bass in my voice though. You think that how that sound? Yeah, that'll probably be good. Don't you, you know, do it though? Um, don't you do it? No, I can do it, but you don't do it. Well, maybe I could do like a sultry like talk. I don't know. Can you talk like Betty Boo? I, I don't know. Probably can. I wrote both of our voices pretty high. You need to talk like real sister. Like, I need to talk like a brother, you know what I'm saying? Word up, child. When I'm saying talking. something you don't want to hear, I'm your typical black woman. You now, are. Now I need to you talk like a real like ain't sister. This this ain't no fake voice. This is how she really sound. But when she get mad, that sister come out then. Mm. My actions are reactions to your actions. And that's all I'm going to say. My oh. relationship and Donald Trump are, all, are things I don't speak on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Unlike you. Oh. No, but no. He does post a lot of bull that has nothing to do with us at all. I mean, he knows better than to post something about us. So don't ever think that No he, better. He complies. Don't think that um, <laughs> <laughs> he don't mean to take his manhood away. Mm. He's respectful. Like, we'll put it that way. And to what we have, but him and I both notice other things, you know, that you comment on and but people tend to always think you're referring to yourself and a lot of times you're not really referring to yourself. Now, I don't think we perfect. We got problems. Definitely have problems. <laughs> but, but I mean like who don't? You know, but none of our problems are ever going to be on Facebook. But just know we real. But and it's never going to be on Facebook. So whatever he may say about black women or relationships or good women, good men or whatever, please know that that's not us. I've we been probably, doing this for years. Yeah, we probably had an issue that day, <laughs> but it was not going to be on Facebook. So, but I mean, that's what comes with a relationship. I will say that much. You have good days, you have bad days, you know, but you have to stick it out. You got to realize, you know, what you got and... Hold on to it, and you get through it. Okay, that's the that's the good part. Which? Now, what's the difference between black women and white women with they men? I don't know why you're asking me that, because I have several white friends. I work with white women, and 
we all think about the same on a lot of levels. They say white women crazy, is like, all, but yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of times I've talked to my coworkers and, you know, ran scenarios by them, and they be like, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't I don't see that difference. I don't know. So, the white girls don't submit? Not from what I see. Even from what I see, look like, I can honestly say all of my coworkers almost look like they run their husbands. I'm talking well, about, like, well, right now, I have a co-worker. I don't know if she'll see this or whatever, but I'm not saying anything bad about her. I love her to death. But anytime her child is sick, her man stays. Her husband stays home with that child. Maybe because he's military and can maneuver some things a little bit better. <laughs> but he takes the, the child to the doctor. He stays home, you know? So maybe the man don't submit. And that's why. I think maybe that's it. I think white men submit more them I, I just you know what i think this is it and some people might not agree but i don't think it's the white woman i think the white man submits more to the baby i'll take off baby i'll do this baby i'll do that till it looks like the white woman doesn't trip at all when really she just doesn't have anything to trip about mm. that's what it is I don't know why but, I've never thought about that in any of our arguments. You see how things are better when you talk, when you're calmly talking? I've really got to remember that the next time he calls me. But maybe, maybe the white man ain't got to go through as much as the black man in his average day. So he can be honey baby, honey baby all the time because he ain't feeling the pressure from being the black man all day long. You do know that pressure of a black man and the man holding you back, that stuff don't work with me, right? <sighs> you knew that before you tried that on camera. But I'm just saying. I mean, yes, I know y'all have it hard. Y'all do, y'all do. I, I, I honestly can say this. Right now, if God was like, Alicia, I'm about to end your life, you know, but I'm gonna let you choose what you wanna come back is. The last thing I would wanna come back is as a black man. Y'all have it hard. Y'all really do. <laughs> I don't know if I would either. I don't. Y'all, y'all have it really hard. Now you know what? If I could, I don't know. I wonder would he let me choose what black man I wanted to come back. Oh, as. that would that would work. Yeah. Who would you be if you could be a black man? I'll come back as Jay Z. Oh. You know why? <laughs> I'd probably be Puff. Why Puff? Puff. Mm. Puff reasons. richer than Jay Z. No, he's not. Yes, he... No, he's not. We're about to prove oh, this you now. Gotta, y'all got to come in on this. Y'all know Puff always get more money than Jay-Z. Not by much, though. Now nah, you don't pick the phone up. You just put it down. Wow. Don't even... Do I... Is this school? Do I have to put my phone up? That's what I asked you before we started this. Because if I hadn't knew I had to put my phone down, I would have just been like, bye, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I know. You ain't you on Instagram. You ain't even. I was not on Instagram. Phone. I had a notification and I had to clear it. I'm getting to Google so I can see whose um net worth is higher. Because you remember I told you one year Puff is richer than Jay Z. I told you one year Beyonce and Jay Z together. I did not that's no, different. No, 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 no. To Beyonce and Jay Z together. Wait, wait, wait. Beyonce and Jay Z apart made more i think it was like the richest couples forbes list richest couples their net worths apart was more than every other couples on there together of course you sell you know, your you soul need, to the devil you stop with that <laughs> Ill, that illuminati stuff y'all really what she say y'all really lame with that illuminati mess <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's what she said. You're going to stop talking about her. I don't think they're Illuminati. I don't think the Illuminati really. If you can't say anything nice about Beyonce, <laughs> she becomes part of the things we don't speak of like Donald Trump. No, we're going to talk about Beyonce. You better not say anything negative about her. She's been posting every day. I bet Beyonce wouldn't be in the strip club being blue flame like Mary J. Blige would with Monica. I know she wouldn't either. You think she wouldn't? On her own, or because Jay Z put that smack down. I don't know. She just wouldn't. They would probably have a set of personal strippers come to their room. Oh, yeah. They probably would have had. And that. roll the partition you know up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Man, you ain't got to look that up. No, post. I wanted to show you this picture. This is a good picture. Oh, man. That's why I was on Instagram. I knew I went on Instagram for something. Hold on. Good. I have to think. 
Yeah, See how this? Head, like I guess I have to entertain y'all while she on the phone. I knew this was gonna happen. I wanted you to see this picture. You should have put this picture while we were talking about them because I thought it was a very good picture. Jay Z and Beyonce. No, Jay Z and Puff. So, Jay Z looking at who he inspired to be. Um. No. What's better than one oh, I seen billionaire, that one. two billionaire? Like he said, I'd be damned if I drink Belvedere while Puff got Ciroc. We all need to think more like that. I'm about to release alcohol. I'm still going to drink Ciroc. No, I'm just playing. You know I don't like Ciroc. A hustle man. You should set those hustle man sunrises while you're playing. I don't, you don't, I don't think you know how to make them uh, anymore. I don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Mm -mm. You don't. You ain't made one. I don't know how, how long. Ran out the stuff. Yeah, so we had the substitute. This right here ain't bad. It's just strong. Mm. What were you talking about? Uh, I was supposed to be looking up networks, but then I wanted to show you that picture. You think they can see the picture if I zoom in? On? No. They can't. Can y'all see that? People done already seen that. Every I picture with Jay Z. Like, look how they're happy they look, all rich and black. They had to go through it. I think <laughs> Puff had <laughs> more of a struggle. Yeah, I don't think Jay Z, Jay -Z had much of a struggle. Jay Z ain't have too much of a struggle. I think my lash is trying to come up. I know mm. I shouldn't have got those strips. Yeah, yeah, you gonna make it come out. Leave it I alone. can't help it. I pick at my eyes. This I can't do these this lash stuff. I can't. That's why you should be real. You know my real eyelashes are long. Tell them my real eyelashes are long. My <laughs> real eyelashes are my long. My real eyelashes are long. I just be wanting something different sometimes. Why are you leaning like you gotta lean? Because I was trying to see. We myself. in the camera. In, <laughs> I oh, know. okay. I was trying to see myself. Yeah, because we got it on a tripod. A lot of folk, man, they should respect my hustle, man. I run right here with a tripod and y'all call me crazy getting interviews with these people. Setting up my own tripod, carrying and everything. I got some good interviews. Well, I'm glad you got some good interviews. Including Bun B that you wouldn't watch. Uh, Much as you like Bun B, I know. you didn't look at my interview. I know, I know. That mean you don't Would believe you not? in me. I do believe in you, but you know I have ADHD. If it was... The Breakfast Club. That's because me and Charlemagne think alike. I'm the biggest Charlemagne fan. Me, me and you don't think alike on so many issues. Like you uh, really was hyped about the M cipher, and I was sitting there like, yeah. But Charlemagne, he didn't like it. Well, I bet Eminem come out with an album and do. Five, six hundred thousand in the first week. Ain't nobody I'm, doing that. I'm quite sure it will. And then he on the BT cipher, so I ain't holding them up. Some niggas seen that. Yeah, he'll probably, you know, I'm, I'm ready to see his album. I really am. I don't know he why the he best rapper of all time. time. We ain't gonna say all that. You crazy. I promise you, when you see the comments on this video, if I get in the comment, cause, well, I should, because you say, yeah. You're the reason. <laughs> you're the reason why they tune in to me anyway. Cause you don't. You that stuff you be talking about sometimes. Don't nobody want to hear that. Some, you don't like only certain people want to hear that. Your little fans do. You gotta. You they gotta, say I'm negative. You gotta talk about more stuff that people want to hear. You we we get tired of that 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 woman bashing. I know I get tired I of it. Like you ain't got right a good woman. Now. But you still bashing women. And folks get tired of that. They want to laugh. They want to, you know, you don't make people laugh. You want to make people laugh. I do. You okay. You, you're you okay. You're, you're sometimes funny. We all know I'm the hilarious one. <laughs> I am. No, I, I am. I am the funny one. I say the most funniest stuff every, every time. I do. You don't think I say the funniest stuff? Do Habib. I don't want to do Habib. <laughs> do Habib. I don't want to do Habib. I need a, how much them pack of Newports is back there? I need a pack of Newports. No, you know they're $4.99. <laughs> <laughs> $4.99? You buy here all the time. You buy now or you going four ninety nine? Go down the street. I don't care. <laughs> 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 you know they got an attitude. And and then they work at the, the telemarketing places too. Oh, so I hate that. Yeah, I got a 
complain about my bill. I need to know why my bill is $160 when usually it's $157.99. Sir, thank you for calling AT&T, but first I do need your telephone number so I can look over your bill. <laughs> <laughs> You know you're not going to understand. And then they're going to say, they're not going to say a B. They're going to say some American name. Like, thank you for calling AT&T. This is David. <laughs> like, you know your name is not David a B. <laughs> oh, we get took off the air already. We racist. I know. I know. I know. I hate to sound like that. God, I hate to sound like that. That is the truth. It's not. You, you know what I told you that day. I feel like, you know, I'm picking at other races the same way other races picked at us and I don't want to do that. That's different. I don't like doing that. Black people can't be racist anyway. Right? That's All we can do is talk. We can't do nothing. We ain't got no power, no authority. All we can do is call your name. Mm -hmm. We ain't got the we, we ain't, ain't lawyers. Y'all are going to see our clash of minds if, if I ever do this. If, if it's a racist judge, he can send all the black people to jail. If it's a racist DA, they can go against all the black people. It's a racist company owner and he don't like black people. He cannot hire black people. But all black people can do is call you a word. That's it. Well, I still work in Valdosta, <laughs> which is probably the main audience that's going to see this. And like oh. I've said before, I need my job. So, <laughs> um, next question, please. When folks say my job, I might see this too. Y'all ain't like going to be, y'all ain't about to do me like y'all, Donald, um, folks that lost their job after the Trump, <laughs> Trump was elected. So, you ain't taking no knee? Um, no, I'm not. I mean... I love y'all. I love my people. Thank you. I do. But really, if I quit my job tomorrow, can I call either one of y'all for rent? No. no. So, but I love y'all. I'll say what I can say. I'll stand up for you the best way I can, but still be reasonable enough to know that I have to a chat. I have to have a I have a life that I have to support. And he's a good man. I love him and all, but he ain't paying all my bills. See, that's another subject. <laughs> I mean, this, he, now this, he, he spoils me. Uh, I ain't gonna lie and say he don't spoil me, but I mean, I, I'm still writing them checks for my bills, so I'm not about to see, say see, anything to jeopardize my job. See, that's the stuff I'm talking about. Why women don't count. The, I do count that. You I know, count they it. don't be counting the small stuff like these dinners, the gas in the car. I count Hair and nails type stuff. If you ain't paying a bill, that other stuff just a part of the program. No, I count it. I do. I do. But not enough to uh, ever say something about it. I do. Pre I always tell you I appreciate you, don't I? This seems like with all women, all the guys I hear complain, they feel like they ain't appreciated. I tell you I appreciate you. I build you up. I do. I build you up. And I break you down. It takes a lot to break me down. It takes a lot to break me down. I know. That's why I built you up. <laughs> <laughs> man, drink your drink. That strong mass, I'll drink it in a minute. So, I mean, it is I better mean, it out is of the strawberries, glass. Mandarin oranges, pineapples. Did you put real fruit, fruit in it? Yeah. Real you don't see this? Out of the um, frozen yeah. Thing? You know what I want? I want me a cupcake. Mm. I can't eat that on here, though. And this ain't the drink, champs. They ain't drinking out of these type of glasses. We sophisticated with our drunkness. Get out the phone. Now she's okay. trying to hide it under the table. Do that don't not make no do sense. me like that. Do not have people thinking I'm sneaky. You're, that's what you're not about oh, to do. Oh, you ain't. Y'all ain't sneaking with the phone. Y'all be trying to be on the phone all in church, probably everything. It's right there. You know, you know the code. If you touch this phone before we get off, you gotta give me twenty dollars. How much longer are we gonna be on here? Well, I got to give you $20. I thought you were going to say something else. We're going to be on here another hour. 
I'm not pinky swearing it up. Mm-mm. No, we finna get off. See, this, this is why black women, they try to control everything. They want to be the man until the time and to pay the bills. You're trying to sound like a gentleman on camera talking about $20. You know what you wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's happening anyway. Wrap right. this up so I can touch my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can go ahead and wrap this up. This has been Hustle Vision. Number three, look for me on the next few. We ain't got time to wait on her to put her makeup on. Just know I'll right be now. somewhere in the vicinity. I might not She'll be, be on somewhere. camera, but I'll be I don't somewhere. Know. I, depending on how many views this get, I do like the rest of them, man. If you get Instagram famous, then I'll put you on. If I get Instagram famous, mm -hmm. is that what we striving for in life now? Yeah. I'm no. probably getting checks. You know the boy that said, d -nut. That nigga getting about five, ten bands to make a club appearance. <laughs> Dang. And here I am just trying to cover an election on CNN. Wow. <laughs> well, you about to be a star now. We on Hustle This vision. will set me back from what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm just doing this out of oh, love. Oh, man. You, you know what? This is your, this your first and last day. You fired. I'm fired? Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't get fired. I walk off. <laughs> well, so walk if I'm fired, I'll walk off the sets. Let me walk off. Yeah. Um, Mike, then. Take let your me, mic let off. Let me take my mic off. Let me do how Kim left off yeah. um, Real take House Take your mic off. I'm you taking mine off. How did you even put all this in? Look at this. I can't even store them out correctly because I don't even know how you put all this on. Teddy stuff up. I can't even storm off right. It's just ruined now. It's faded black. All right.